Smith and MacArthur need some time for Cowboy Boys. Welcome to Cowboy Boys Podcast. Mm-hmm. That's us. Oh, were we sipping? <laughs> No, I was sipping, and you had to steal my I, my sip. I'm sorry, I have a better sip than you. I really didn't even don't. practice it, dude. Stop sipping when I'm sipping. <laughs> sip louder than me. Sip louder than me. Then I'll just cut your mic. You can't, dude. <laughs> like, You're can't. fucking. You've been out sipped. You can't sip for shit, dude. I was using my sippy cup until I was a teenager, <laughs> dude. All I do is sip. You're not even. You don't even have three drinks. I have three drinks. I'm sipping more than you. Oh, hey, you have Matt Broussard's Shut up. thing. <laughs> <laughs> he, he left it here. I love like stealing 100, from our guests. He left it here like 100 episodes ago. He really did. He should come back if he wants it. Mm. Welcome to the podcast. Yep. Shane got me sick. No, okay. <laughs> again. You once have again. a terrible immune system. Yeah, because... My firewall is down for the people around me, mm. the nearby people where uh, it's it's up it's up in uh, public spaces. Okay, that makes sense. Did get this last little? I don't know what it was, but it sucked because it for the first like three days I'm like I'm not sick. I just feel like off, like weird, right? Right. And so I'd rather just like get. I'd rather be dying day one, so I know to attack it. Yeah. It came on so slow. It was like day five, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. You got to rip it off like a Band-Aid. Well, I didn't know. I didn't well, realize. Well, no, yeah, yeah. That's the worst is when it fucking sneaks up on you. It snuck you're up. You're like, oh, I'm kind of, maybe I didn't sleep good last night. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, you're in your 30s, so you're like, ah, oh, I just had an off day. I thought it was, ah. Uh, uh, I just had an off day. My immune system's a fucking weird. Maybe an allergy got me. A weird dog crossed my path, and I breathed in his allergens. Did you ever play... Pandemic's the Flash game, but it's also a board game, right? Yeah, very famous board game. If is, not, was it a, was it a board the game one first? that has overtaken Carcassonne? I think so. Carcassonne? Don't, don't or not Carcassonne. Uh, Catan? Catan, yeah. Settlers of Catan. Is it the same game? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if the Flash game is the same okay. game. I've never played the Flash game. But whoever designed this latest disease was smart because it's like... And I, from what I remember in the Flash game is if you start the... Uh, if you create like a disease that kills people just immediately, like if you create Ebola, everyone in the world is like, "Oh, you're Ebola. We're gonna get rid. We're gonna get rid of you immediately." Yeah. But if you create like a, a really just mild, safe disease, it tricks me. A disease that maybe you wouldn't even know if you had. Sometimes that a lot of people would be like. I got this and I was fine, but it does kill a lot of people. Dude, if we die in the next day, the perfect virus is out there. Oh, it's COVID. No. We're describing COVID, the no. mild disease that kills everyone, but no. most people don't take seriously. You're no. describing COVID. No. It only kills bad people <laughs> okay i love that you're like what if a disease was insidious and like kind of didn't seem like a big deal what if it was designed by the perfect flash game player yeah that's what i'm saying dude all right how about this don your tinfoil hats for this what if the u.s and or chinese government was playing the pandemic flash game and they're like Hold up. <laughs> yeah. That's how war works. <laughs> what if we... A bunch of people are playing Risk and they go, hold on. What if we defended and had the extra, the the dice, the home court advantage? That works. Dude. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the people play war games to play war, so why wouldn't they play pandemic games to do pandemics? Anyways. I miss Flash. It still exists. No, it doesn't. You could go find Flash games. No, it doesn't. Flash is discontinued. You can find recreations of Flash games, but Flash does not exist anymore in browsers. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Just go on a uh, computer that hasn't updated and play your Flash games. Yeah, just go there because all the websites are still hosting all the Flash games. They I bet you there's some autistic guy on some Russian yeah, server. They didn't. You can't save everything. Qtop, just playing Quitop or whatever that game was. Like Quop? Quop, yeah. Qwop, yeah. Q W O P. Yeah, yeah. Quop. Oh fuck, dude. I've been. I've been. Uh, they had to update Homestar Runner from Flash 
to HTML5 because Flash doesn't exist. They just dis- it stopped being updated. It's like Windows uh, when they stop. Oh no! Are you gonna? Did they get rid of floppy disks? What do you mean? Because I have a bunch. They stopped supporting them. You can still no, use them. No, <laughs> not floppy disks. <laughs> Fuck. Next thing you're going to tell me is my iPod Nano isn't even worthwhile anymore. It's not. Oh, my God. So technology is moving forward and getting better? Fuck. No, it's not getting better. It is moving forward, but it's not getting better. Oh, I'm going to kill myself. It's not getting better, says the guy wearing an Apple Watch. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> you took it off. No, I didn't. I'm not wearing it right now. You should wear it on your ankle like an ankle monitor and then maybe like Ooh. hot girls will be like, oh shit, what's his deal? Ooh, that would be a that would be a nice club. Dude, move. it would be really funny to put on a fake Just ankle like, monitor and go to like, a party. Hello? <laughs> yeah, be, <laughs> people would be like, hold up, do you have an ankle monitor? It'd be a really good conversation starter. No, nah, my girlfriend has to keep tabs on me all the time, <laughs> so I don't wear an Apple Watch on my uh, ankle. Oh, uh, dude, that's kind of hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been, um, but I have been, uh, I, you know what I've been doing? Using <laughs> going through the ten-hour strong bad emails of Homestar Runner. Wow, on YouTube, the ten-hour compilation. I've I went through World War Two, past some other trains and shit and now i have watched over the last four days i'm not joking 15 hours of custom civil war battle map explanations why would you do that i don't know why wouldn't you do something productive like i'm doing i don't know well no i'm writing while i watch these and painting i'm uh i'm stealing i'm i'm actually going through and writing down like wait a bit they stole this joke from homestar right <laughs> like oh, there's yeah. so many times that people have like ripped directly from homestar and i'm like damn they really did it all back in the day i can't remember who i think it was pete holmes no probably not but it was uh, i've seen more than one comic where i go hey that's a penny arcade thing or what was the other one that wasn't penny arcade that was like more thoughtful and the guy proposed to his girlfriend in it um not control all delete no i think it was control oh that's the because that's the like most cringe one yeah 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 i saw someone steal a joke from that one Damn, i that sucks. why did i read all of control alt delete one day oh that's there was a day i did that back at the wait let's, 20 let's talk years about ago our, let's talk about early 2000s web comics because that's that was my first foray into comedy oh um, i had a web comic back oh. in I I had sex and wasn't a fucking loser. So I read Penny Arcade, yeah, 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 and then a, I was one of the cool kids. I had sex at fourteen. Yeah, yeah real cool. Web comics. Oh wow, you oh, re- yeah, you really owned my twelve year old ass. Yeah, I did. Look at you, you fucking <laughs> child virgin. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, you must be gay. Like firstly, every, what, every, firstly, oh, every other thirteen-year-old was calling me gay. Firstly, so for you to go back and twenty years and be like, man, you were you. Firstly, are a loser for not having not getting I, a blowjob in the seventh grade. You should be bowing down and kissing my feet because you constantly talk about how your perfect origin story was people who shat on your web comic and think web comics suck. I am the person it. who made you who you are no, today. No, no, People who are like, nah, web comics are fucking lame. That sucks. Are the reason no, you're no. funny nope. and who you are no. today. No. And no, you've no, said no, it no. multiple times no, no, on no, no, this no, no, podcast. No, 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 On this podcast. Adults being mean to me back then. Those when weren't I was... adults. Those were other children. <laughs> no, they were adults. No, they were kids and you're delusional in your own no. head being like, I was a child and the adults One. came for me. No, you were a child me... on the internet with other children. No, when they sent me photos of their penises, they were adult male penises. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet they were <laughs> their penises. I bet it wasn't kids Googling Dude. penises the way we both have done I've to never... send to people. <laughs> no, no, I've only sent my normal, medium, small, flaccid penis. Really? Yeah, I've know. sent random dicks to all kinds of people. No, there's a bunch of people who have. You could probably, if you compiled all the dick pics I've sent, you could get like a full uh, flip book animation of me getting hard. Dude, I used to. <laughs> that's pretty good. I used to send photos of other people's dicks to get nudes all the time. 
That's dishonest. They, I know that they were also not their nudes. Well, that was the game back in the no, fucking no. T-Mobile sidekick no, days when you had to email photos. You're a bad person. Oh, yeah? I'm I a was bad. a good person. I was spending my formative years watching uh, ISIS beheading videos and Homestar Runner. <laughs> that was it. Homestar Runner is... I watch Homestar Runner. I know. It's just very interesting how... It is weird to be like... <laughs> those are the two... Hey, look, I'm watching this cute little weird cartoon, and then you're like, well, I'm going to see what's going on with this journalist getting his head cut off. And then you're like, whoa, that was crazy. And then you go watch that some more, and it's then someone would be like... Yeah. They're like, hey, do you want to see a video of a guy fucking an anthill? And you're like, I guess. Yeah, Fuck I mean, it. Why not? And then you're like, well, I'm 14. That's going to hurt my brain for a long time. They only come out with one strong bad email every week. So they gotta, I got <laughs> six more days of the <laughs> internet to blow. Strong bad isn't strong enough to stop my 14 year old brain from seeing a guy fucking an anthill. That's, I, I think that's what. Uh, I, it's you need that you can't be you can't be the one guy who's only on uh, the gore websites that kid was weird yeah, that kid fucking sucks and then he grew up and like tried to buy his own tattoo machine and like i don't know it just didn't work out for him um yeah but i i have i talked about did i ever say that my first website was a web comic yeah oh okay yeah you've told your origin story it sucked that's why it I'm was like, bad and i'm glad that, i'm glad people were like man this stinks and i was like yeah oh yeah okay. yeah yeah here let me be you from 20 minutes ago yeah you're 12 you were 12 years old and your web comic wasn't good you, no fucking shit that's not what Sherlock. you were trying to do you were trying to say that i was lame for not having uh <laughs> young teen sex no i didn't say you were lame for not having young teen sex i said you were lame for being way into web comics you it's were into web comics two different you things. read could all control all delete which stunk. as an adult as an adult That's man even worse i know i'm a lame adult that stinks i do have sex though that's also that i also think sucks. i read i read all of control <laughs> all delete when i was a married man you're, you're, so how about this did you read uh did you read vg cats I don't even know what that is. No, did you read Akewood? No. Did I you literally read... only know Control Alt Delete and Penny Arcade. Damn, you're a fucking normie. Yeah, I know. I liked Penny Arcade. Someone showed me Penny Arcade and I was like, oh, this is kind of funny. It was my friend who plays World of Warcraft. And then he also showed me Control Alt Delete and I was like, this kind of sucks, but I would like look at them. And then I got older, like I said, and I someone like it all in like some forum was like here's a, like a thing you can like read them chronologically and i read them all and i was like weird I, I don't remember why someone was like oh look at this guy's life's work like it's not that funny but like he he tries to be like really serious and here's what happens and they were like talking about the dude who wrote it specifically and proposed to his girlfriend in the web comic and then I read the whole thing through. Do you know what I think it was? What? I think I was getting ready to propose <laughs> to my girlfriend at the time. And I was like, so huh, like, interesting. All right. I and need to I come read, up with a web comic. Yeah. I, read I, through the whole, I remember reading through the whole thing and reading his love note and being like, ah, oh, man, that fucking, it's not me. And then I did something even worse. What? I don't want to say. God, why would you do that to me? <laughs> why would you be such a fuck? I could bleep it. Oh, do you want to bleep you, it? It's funny if you do. <laughs> it's funny if you do. That's too embarrassing. It's really It's one of the only things in my life I'm genuinely embarrassed about. All right, I'll bleep that for you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It just hurt my feelings. You did it to yourself. I know. Also, you have to be like me where you're just like, yeah, I did that. I own that. I had a cringe web comic, and <laughs> firstly, your cringe web comic is easy to defend. You were twelve. <laughs> it's actually pretty <laughs> impressive to have a web comic when you're twelve. If anything, those people should have been like, "Hey, your comic sucks, but like, Dude. good job having a website when you're twelve, man." <laughs> I, <laughs> like, I, what? Had, I had a website when I was like eight or nine years old. Jesus, and it was like, uh, it was like a yeah, what is it, Geo, what Geo Cities? I like, had an Angel Fire website with yeah, my friends. It was like it was one of those. It was like an Angel Fires or GeoCities. And I had the I found the star, the repeating star background. Yeah, gotta do it. And uh, I probably had the spinning skull gifs and like under construction gif of like a stick man digging. Yeah. And it my website it just said, Hi, my name is Mac. I'm like ten years old. My favorite uh basketball team is the Utah Jazz. And I had like a photo of like Carl Malone or something. And then uh 
I I don't. It was just like I like this comic, and I would put a hyperlink to some other comic and stuff. And my mom found the website and lost her shit because she was like, "You put your name, you put the state you live in. People are gonna come and molest you. They're gonna break <laughs> down the door." And I was like, so she made me delete it. I had to delete my first website like within a couple hours. Damn, that's I, I was, so. As funny. I was like, look what I did. Look how look. I figured out how to put a website on it, and she was just like, "It's not. You're, you're, you don't know how dangerous it is." Dude, your mom is fucking. I mean, listen, I've we have similar problems for different reasons. So funny for you to for. Oh man, if my kid made a website, I'd be like, "This is insane." I gotta check this every day now, which is annoying, but this is crazy. Good for you, man. Yeah, proud of you. It does suck that if you have a kid now, you have to like create an alt. And you have to create an alt. You, you have, have to, to look at everything he does. You have to like go on to his phone and look at his YouTube history. But it can't be it can't be a suspicious alt. No, you have to either create like a, a blank profile or like a profile that looks like a teenager. Or I guess kids probably don't even care who follows them. No, you have to have their fucking location on their phone all the time so you can see where they are. No, you don't. Yeah, to be a good parent, you should you should do. No, you that. don't. Just ignore them. <laughs> they either grow up to be good or not true i mean that's not entirely true actually you can love your child and give them the tools to be good no i mean look at me <laughs> yeah but you're bad no i'm not you're a fallen paladin i i was good but then i became bad yeah yeah so i was despite my parents doing nothing i was still a good kid so you're failing upwards no i'm, f- I'm failing i'm, you were, I'm succeeding you were downwards good. oh you're succeeding <laughs> down yeah that's upwards. what it is that's what it is you're i was good and now i'm better but also worse yes if that makes any sense okay i've been on a steady decline yeah yeah that's no i don't know what a, i'm doing you're not addicted to drugs anymore no it's true See, I'm addicted to a bunch of other stuff, though. Like what? I don't know. Soda. <laughs> okay. Having sex. Yeah, you're just like Joe Biden. Um, soda. Almost, <laughs> almost dying. Dude, how lame. Going is- fast. Um, how lame is it that Joe Biden doesn't drink? The Civil War. Joe Biden doesn't drink. Trump doesn't drink either. Dude, fucking X'd up both my presidents, bro. No, no. no. I wish they would work together to make the <laughs> dude how crazy would that be if trump was like listen i don't really want to be the president but i'll be joe biden's vice <laughs> like that's the compromise i won't this? run again if you let me be the vice president here's this i would vote for biden if he's like i don't like kamala i need a new vice president Damn, that would if he yeah, just straight yeah, yeah. up dropped her she's like she was holding me back i would be like that's very funny yo <laughs> this bitch is a cop yeah. <laughs> she's like whoa She's always high on something, dude. I think she's stealing from Joe Biden's um, uh, what do you call that? Something cabinet, your pill cabinet, your medicine cabinet. There That's the is. word. I don't have one, <laughs> so I don't. I don't know what it was called. Yeah, dude. I keep my pills on my nightstand. I keep them in my top drawer of my. Oh dresser. fuck! I forgot to take my meds today because I stayed up all night. Yeah, you don't need to. You're still up. It's still one day true if you don't if you stay up for two days straight you don't have to take your antipsychotics. you heard it here first folks so damn dude i gotta stay up you yeah, think i'm gonna make it no so almost one that's why we're recording early i know it how long do i stay awake when do i go to sleep when is a time when adult regular people go to bed you think 10 10 to 1 10 to 1 normal people okay old people fall asleep at eight to nine i'm friends with this you could do it old old people style and go to sleep at 8 p.m and then wake up at like four or five in the morning i'm f- okay yeah true i know a lot of surfers who do that i'm friends with this me uh i've been friends with this like uh meme page for a while and the admin you're and friends I, with a meme page yes 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 me and the admin talk all the time and they review i found out they live here in new york i was like oh shit i was like we should hang out sometime because they're like really funny and cool and then they're like i don't know anything about them by the way i just know they're a person and now i know they live in new york and i was like we should hang out and they're like "Ah, actually i'd fucking like that you're in brooklyn i was like yeah i'm in brooklyn fuck it let's hang out what if it's a what if it's a child 
That'd be funny as fuck, dude. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. You'd be a criminal. I wouldn't be a criminal. You could only be a criminal if you say you want to fuck him. I want to get pizza and talk about... Also, if this is a child, holy shit. They're, they're the criminal? It's a cool child. Yeah, dude. They're going to do crime to me. What the fuck? The shit they post is wild. I'm surprised their account is still up. In any case, they were like... Uh, they're like a, a person with a job and everything. But they were like, yeah, I go to bed at 8.30. I, I mm-hmm. take my sleep That's- hygiene really seriously. And I was like, damn, that fucking sucks. That sounds like a kid with a bedtime sleep idea oh no oh no hey, hey, after uh, yeah i'd go to bed at 8 30 no there was another there was a girl i tried to date like a while ago like two a year and a half ago when i was dating or whatever and she was like we can't date because i take my sleep hygiene seriously and you don't mm. so like we we didn't even get to the point where we went and got coffee like we had a fucking zoom date or whatever and afterwards she's like i don't like how you don't take sleep hygiene seriously i, yeah, I don't like that phrase sleep i don't hygiene. like it either it fucking bothers me but i keep hearing it it keeps appearing in my fucking life and i'm like sleep hygiene i fucking can't sleep at all it's so funny i slept 12 hours three back-to-back days and now i've been awake for two days straight i don't know what the fuck to do about my schedule or my body have you tried a warm glass of milk before (laughs) bed Mm, i haven't that used to get me as a kid it's really yeah I would just have a warm cup of milk, dude. As like a as like a four or five year old. Do you want to know something? You just reminded me of being a kid and my parents making a little dash on the milk so they know if we drink it. Or Your night. parents did that? Yeah. What the fuck? We had to ration that, our food. We're oh, poor. I thought your, your 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 parents were your roommates. No, no, no. <laughs> your parents no. were like, "Hey, uh, you're not doing your dishes, and <laughs> it's really bumming the rest of us out." Two things that I realized not everyone else dealt with that I thought were normal as a kid was one, my parents rationing food or telling us we can't drink milk or stuff. All the other parents I ever met were like, eat whatever. You're a child. Just As long as you're not fat, just eat. You have to eat. And me and my brothers were all really skinny all the time. So I was like, huh, we, we just have good genes over here. But no, we were hungry. And then the other thing was we never ate at a dining table. My mom and either of my stepdads through the course of my life would put a sheet on the floor of the kitchen and then me and all my brothers would sit on it, crisscross applesauce and eat. What? Yeah. You didn't have a table? No, we ate on a sheet. And then afterwards, they would like shake the sheet off outside so there wouldn't be a mess. And that's what we would eat. We would sit on the ground on a sheet in the kitchen. Why wouldn't your criminal dad steal a table? <laughs> I don't know, because he didn't want to clean a table. You don't want to. They didn't want to even get like a card table. No, we would eat like literally like eat, like insane. Southeast Asian style. Like we would all sit around. That's one of like, the most insane things I've ever heard about your I life. I know, I know it, <laughs> I know it, man. But, and I but, didn't know it was whoa, weird whoa, whoa. until I got older. But it's kind of genius too. It, I would never do it. And if your family does that, that's weird, and they should stop. But I do like that they're like it. It is almost like if another culture of people did that, like had the sheet, they just shook it off and like, look, it's cleaner. It's more sanitary. I'm like, I can see how you could see, think that it's easier to clean off. Yeah. You can shake it off. Well, here's the thing. It, they didn't want a mess because they're like, this is our house. Don't make a mess in it. You just live here. You just picnic. You had an indoor picnic. Yeah, every we day. have indoor picnic with my brothers. And then the other thing was, um, th- my parents weren't eating with us. They were eating elsewhere or doing whatever. Was else. there a grown-up table? No, <laughs> at the kids' table. They were at the couch or whatever. They were doing whatever they wanted. They were not with us, you know. They were, did they, they were, go to the drive-through? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to eating in the car while you guys at? You know? We didn't have a drive-through. There were no drive-throughs um, until I got older. In where I'm from, mm. we didn't have a drive-through until Burger King opened one um and i was already a teenager so i I, no drive-thrus we did have like a car hop because it's called car hop cafe so you could pull up and then like a teenager depending on the day would come out and be like what do you want and then they'd make it and bring it to your car but you could just go in doesn't fucking matter do you ever see videos i'm about to i'm about to be racist mac for a second so oh for a second (laughs) yeah for a second do you ever see videos of like other cultures i'm not saying which ones when they're like eating with their eating food with their hands and in the comments people will be like this is how you're supposed you're, you're more in touch with your food you're more and, and i'm and there's part of me where i'm just like no i'm i am civil i'm better than you i'm more i'm more evolved because <laughs> i know how to use a fork 
I get like I there's more options available to me. I'm like, oh, you know what I could eat right now? Soup. I have the ability to eat soup if I wanted to. <laughs> you could just drink it without a spoon, though. No, it's just not the same. Dude, I, every now and then I see, I'll see like a video of something going down in another culture. And I'm like, Mm-mm, you're doing it wrong. You have <laughs> much like sometimes, I'll, and it'll happen the other way where I'm like, how come we don't do that? We're doing it wrong. Oh yeah, yeah. It's because we're pragmatic. We see the best thing and we go, we should take that. Not always, but we should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, us as oh, yeah. people. Those are the people who go for. That's why everyone's mad at anyone who's successful. Because to be successful, you have to steal. Have to steal. Yeah, you have to, <laughs> you have to everything. beg, borrow, and steal from everyone who's doing it better than you. Oh, Elvis stole from black artists. Yes, that's a huge shame. And those black artists deserve recognition. But also, yeah, rock and roll fucking rocks. St- obviously hear that and then go, yeah, I'm going to make this music fucking kills it. Mm. Elvis is pretty cool, though. Is he? He's I really honestly don't know anything him? about him. You ever see Elvis? I mean, I've seen photos of him. I've seen women <laughs> screaming at him. I don't think he fucked that much. Do you think he fucked as much as the Beatles? I don't think any the Beatle Dude, the Beatles were running through it. No, I don't think they were. Dude, you know I who think was? They had, I think they had uh, more than the average, but I don't think they were. Okay. Le- how about this? Lemmy from Motorhead. He was fucking... I don't. That's a, that's that thing. Who's the who's the NBA player who's like I fucked over ten thousand? It's like no, you didn't. That's factually a lie. <laughs> I don't know, man. I was it don't. Know. Was it Kareem? Is no, it's not Kareem. I've known comics Diego. who aren't very good Diego. that would have sex with two different people a weekend for months. Will Chamberlain, and it's ten thousand, right? It's like Bill Clinton's chef with the giant biceps. He's like, I do, what is it, 2,000 push-ups? 2,000 push-ups a day. And it's like, okay, let's do the math on that. No, you didn't. You're lying. You're a liar. So there are those things where... 2,000 a day? 2,000 push-ups a day. He's lying. Do you know how long that takes every single day? I don't know. I can do 100 push-ups in like a couple minutes. Oh, yeah, 100. Now do... Now, how long is the next... 200 going to take i'll just probably do double in, that if i do the if i do a hundred push-ups every time i go to the bathroom i could probably crush it out anyways he's lying two he's thousand, not like no two thousand, that's, two thousand push-ups a I'll day do it, is a lie i'll do two thousand push-ups before let's midnight see. tonight two thousand two hundred twenty two push-ups how long would it let's how long is the world how record yeah yeah he's really good at what he does <laughs> Uh, no, there's just some lies. Mac, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you could do two thousand good push-ups in a day. No, I, absolutely the, impossible. By... <laughs> Dude, you don't even try. No, Dude, you hate money. Let's see. I keep throwing money at you, Diego. If I gave you a thousand dollars to do two thousand two hundred twenty-two push-ups in a day, how long before you could do it? Here, a, a rate of one push-up per second. So if you're if you don't even if you don't get tired, you could do it in thirty-three minutes. What's what's the world record? Thirty three minutes. That's pretty good. No, let's see. I'm the world to... record is gonna be insane, dude. The, the world record is gonna be some fucking guy who's like, okay, two my hours. Only thing. The is... world record is two hours. Yeah, he's the got the world record. He's so got this guy's burning. Fucking... The, this guy's burning two hours minimum, unless he's humble and doesn't. He's <laughs> like, no, nah, I don't want to. I don't need. It's to all he for... does. So th- I'm saying at least two to three hours every day. Will Chamberlain did you, not fuck 10,000 people because if you break down the numbers, it's just simple. You do one little Google search and then you think with your brain for 10 seconds. Nah, dude. You're like, no, that doesn't make sense. I You're bet you lying. Know, oh, yeah. And I bet you know for sure God isn't real, too. I don't know. He could be real. I exactly, <laughs> dude. I like to believe. I live in a whimsical yeah, yeah. world where Will Chamberlain has nutted in 10,000 women. And um, is it Biden's chef or Obama's chef? Whose chef is it? It was Bill Clinton's. Bill Clinton's chef. Absolutely. Will Chamberlain. It, Chamberlain. He's fucking jacked out of his mind on gear. He can do 2,000 push-ups easy. Will Chamberlain's 20,000 women. 
Okay. He slept with. Now he's lost. <laughs> Twenty thousand, dude. He said how was, many days? This the math says two point three girls a day. It says he's been sexually active since fifteen. But whatever he told that lie. Was, no, that's too many. That's too many, dude. Even Magic Johnson, who got mm. fucking HIV from straight lady sex. Yeah, I bet. That, <laughs> dude, you know, no, it's so hard to get. No, I know. That's why he I must bet. have done. He must have had sex so many times. No, with so many I think. People. I think when you, I think when you start approaching rock star levels of sex, other people start sl- slipping in. I think yeah, it's like you, that's, people start slipping into you. Yeah, it's, it like, it's just that it's just an orgy of it bodies. It gets wet, dude. Once mm-hmm. you get five women in a bed with you and they're all oiled up, anyone can just sneak in there because you're just like sensory overload. Huh? Yeah. Oh my god, this titties all in my mouth, and I feel something on my penis, and and that's your fucking that's a guy that snuck that's in. That's a there. homeless man. That's a homeless man <laughs> who snuck in there, and he is fucking throwing it back. He's a power bottom. It's the best you've ever felt, and you have no idea. Anyways, I don't know why we started this. I don't either, man. Because you don't believe. You have no fucking whimsy or fucking. You don't have dreams. I don't anymore. I'm just I too angry at people lying. I will say I'm mad at Will Chamberlain. Ten thousand. <laughs> I was ready to defend him on, even though oh, you're talking insane. about the Beatles. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about the Beatles. Oh yeah, and think- then you said they probably didn't crush pussy, and I was like, you know what, you're probably right. But then I said Lemmy did. Lemmy said he had sex with a thousand or more women. Lemmy. That's wildly attainable for a fucking heavy metal rock Lemmy star with an t- English accent. Two thousand women. Dude, why do these guys keep doubling the numbers? We think <laughs> they but that's still attainable. Two thousand is a lifetime achievement award for sure. But like, he definitely did it. He's a rock star with an English accent, dude, and a weird hat. Women love that. It is attainable. He how, wrote about Ace how about of this? Spades, how about this? How about this? I I bet it is attainable. But he's swiping right on anything oh yeah he's fucking dude he's fucking heavy metal girls he's knocking the bottom out of all kinds of crazy shit i think that's why i think my uh what did i say before your body count uh should go down when you sleep with a woman and it should go all i should only go up when you sleep with a man oh okay (laughs) i think there should be also clauses of like if you sleep with how about this let's take gender out of it your body count should go down if you sleep with someone lighter than you and if you sleep with someone heavier than you then it should go up oh okay. that's the new that's the new mac clause <laughs> that's the mac body count <laughs> the mac have body you adjusted ca- your body count for max <laughs> yeah, for max yeah. formula his theorem and if you the sleep ma- with someone the exact same <laughs> size uh that's a half point maybe i don't know you you take the you judge on that. Oh, dude. Congrats, my Amazon queens. Your body count just so got you, you smaller. Could have a ne- yeah, you could have a negative body count. Yeah. If you're if you're a petite if you're a petite little lady. So what's your body no, wait, count? That's, that's now? The, no, Zero? sorry, mine, mine would be go negative because it's the opposite way. I, Max. Math is hard. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, anyway. What people just lie. You gotta lie as a celebrity. You're like, oh yeah, I'm totally ha-. it's they're everyone's everyone's lying you have to lie to get a girlfriend you have to be like yeah i'm a good guy i'm dateable <laughs> oh yeah dude it, telling people you're dateable is pretty rough i don't i skip that part say i'm not dateable and people still want to date me and then i have to be like ah it seems like i shouldn't date you if you want to date me and yeah, it's yeah. kind of a catch-22 so i don't believe any of the i don't believe anyone's any cele- that's a thing where people are like joe rogan's five so let's see what his height is it's like he's five six and i'm like no he's not (laughs) every celebrity hides that as a lie every body count every celebrity body count i think joe rogan might be five six he's pretty short dude what do you i don't know i don't believe any uh, so they should list the body count right next to your height on the on google when you google someone's name yeah yeah (laughs) that's pretty funny so I don't know. Anyways, I wanted to talk about Homestar Runner <laughs> and web comics, <laughs> a bunch of nerd shit that won't get you laid, a bunch of early two thousands lore. Dude, I I am sorry. I'm very sorry. Your family ate on the on the floor. That is, that's fucked up. I, I thought it was. I was like, me and my brothers eat together on the floor. Seems cool. Then I got older and I was like, now we eat in our room because I think our, our parents are too scared to tell us as a group what to do. It could have been worse. My mom every day would be like, we're gonna eat as a family, and we'd have like weird family dinner where I, we're like, 
where we we want to talk to each other, but that we're like, what did you do f- today? Like it was forced. Yeah, if yeah. It just no. happened naturally. It was like, hey, it's dinner time. Let's all like blah blah. And like it would have been, but because it was like forced, we're like, oh, this sucks. So don't want to eat right now. Like, yeah, it's fucking weird. No, I remember a lot of my friends who were Mormon or had good families would be like, you just get to do, especially when I got older, once I got to like 12, Man, and me Shane and, just gets the fuck on. Yeah, the yeah, suck. me and my other He's brothers. 15 and already has a body count of 200. Dude, the worst <laughs> thing is that me and my brothers were all close to the same age, so as soon as me and my brother... Danny were both 12 because we were the same age. And our, my brother Jeff's a little older than us. My mom and my stepdad were like, fuck it. You're grown men. Get out. Get a job. Don't fucking talk to us. Don't bring problems from school home. Like, you don't the, make our lives harder. You, I was calling kids out like you on the playground. Where you're, you're the, you were the kid that was probably like, I had sex. And I'm like, no, you didn't. You liar. None of us have. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and they I were like. No, you're a virgin. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm 12. <laughs> I remember like people trying to shame me. Be like, have you had sex yet, fucking virgin? I'm like, what? I just learned. I'm playing Super Nintendo. I not. I don't even. I was doing. I don't even know what a boner is, let alone how to get one. I was doing <laughs> both things. I remember being a kid and being so young and being so out of sorts with half of my friends, just because I grew up in a small town, so everyone is friends with everyone because you have no choice. So yeah. I would like show up, and then me and like three other kids would be like, we went to a party this weekend, and a woman put a Sobe bottle in her pussy, and then the other guys in the seventh grade were like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? We're like, I don't know. We were up to shit. But what I was saying is it fucking is that sucks. A, is that because you had an older brother? I think having an older brother does kind of expose you. It makes you age faster. As like a, as a younger brother, you do be like, you find his old porno mags. Or I was like about you. to say that. That yeah, like I don't know that my older brother because my older brother's only two grades above me, and then my other brother is in my same grade and is my same age. We're we're step brothers, but we were as Irish twins basically. And then, but my other brother. He is five years younger than all of us. So when we all became adults, my parents were like, fuck it. He's also an adult. And like, we basically were like, I guess we have to watch out for this kid now. And so he had to grow up way faster than any of us. It was almost worse for him. I feel bad, but whatever. You, what are you going to fucking do, dude? He should have been born earlier. That's what I said. He should have been Full. born earlier, dude. That's your, that's your bad. So in, in any case... I I don't think I grew up fast because of my brother. I think I just grew up fast because no adult supervision and grew up in a place where there was only one thing ever happening and everyone was at it. You know what I mean? So, like, I've said this before, but, like, if there's a party and there's a bunch of weird adults and teenagers there, there's also, like, everyone just goes there. Like, we're all hanging out. We, like, don't hang out in the same area, but, like, you're all there. So, I don't know. Yeah, I spent my nights playing night games. <laughs> I did play night games too. That's the thing is I did both things. <laughs> both. I did both things like my I would go to scouts and fucking wear my uniform and then I would show up to scouts drunk and be like, "Oh fuck." And I'm like 13 drunk at scout camp like that Sounds fun. Yeah. I bet I mean, being drunk as a kid seems optimal because you recover so fast. No, you, yeah, that was a thing. It's, you could really play it fast and loose. <laughs> you could, you, you're never going to get hung over. <laughs> that's, that's one of the things about me remembering. When, when, you, when you get to your 20s, like, oh, I can't drink like I used to. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> a, oh, I feel sick. <laughs> I remember getting drunk as a child a lot, all the time. <laughs> and like, like I've said before, I didn't drink beer. I drank to get fucked up. And... There were no consequences. At no point I drove drunk. I drove motorcycles drunk. I went to scout camp drunk. I went to school drunk. Wait, were you, were you, how young were you when you were drunk driving? 12, (laughs) 12, 13, and 14. Let's fucking go. What were you driving? Just like a truck back in the countryside or? What do you mean the countryside? Like on roads. I was just fucking driving around, man. Fuck it. What kind of car? Do you remember? Um, Where were you driving to? I was driving like an F one hundred and fifty. Yeah, dude. Well, when it, here's the thing: when I was like eight, my mom would be like, "Hey, take the car and go to the store and buy cigarettes and beer." Here's a note. 
Yeah. So I would show the guy like, hey, my mom told me to buy cigarettes and beer for her. And the guy's like, yeah, whatever. He's like, I can sell you the cigarettes, but you're already drunk. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. So he would sell me them as a child. And so then I would fucking I'm like nine. And then I would get into the truck and drive home. And like no one cared in town. That was just a small town living, dude. This is yeah, what it is. It is paid. what it is. Yeah, so I would drive all the time if I got a, if I could get a hold of a car, you know. So anytime I could borrow a car or steal, like if my stepdad's like left to do something on his bike and his work truck was around, we would just take it. Or there were days when me and my brothers were supposed to haul rock or wood. And so he gave us instructions like, hey, you guys have to go deliver this cord of wood, like these cords of wood, or you have to go collect lava rock, which is a side hustle he had that we used to do. Collecting lava rock. Yeah, dude. So For what? To sell it? Yeah. To tourists? Yeah. All right. No, not tourists, like rich people for fish tanks and shit. Uh-huh. So like as a child, we'd have to drive like way out into the middle of fucking nowhere, legit dangerous, drive the truck up to places where you could fucking roll or whatever, get out. Walk into the lava flows, which are wildly fucking dangerous. Find lava rock, put it in giant bags, fucking haul the lava rock through the flows, which are dangerous already, but now you have rocks in your bags, and then load them into the truck and drive them to the guy to sell. How much you get for a good lava rock? I don't know. I was a child. I don't. I, I we would give him the shit, and then he'd be like, "I'll pay your stepdad later." Because we weren't allowed to have the money, because we would have stolen it. You would have bought liquor. With oh, that. we would have one hundred percent bought liquor with it, bro. Immediately, we would have been like, "Fuck the consequences! Give us his money." We would have drove to Salt Lake or something the second we got a hundred dollars. Yeah. Dude, we'd have lost our mind. A hundred dollars as a kid, it goes a long, long way. Dude, I remember when I was like a hundred dollars. Now I'm like, what is that gonna buy me? I hate inflation. Yeah, dude. <laughs> when I was not. Not only am I dealing with real world inflation, but also kid to adult inflation. Dude, one of the best days of my life is when I was 19 years old and me and my friend Stuart were walking and we went, we were walking past this Wells Fargo ATM on the way to a show. And every time we would walk past the ATM, we would look in there, be like, ah, oh, fuck, what if? And one time we looked in there, it was 40 bucks. Whoa. And he grabbed it and he was just like, go, go, go. And because it, it was the drive through ATM, you know? And so, like, it was working hours, so someone definitely saw or Just could have left. seen, or, or the person could have come back around to grab their money, and we were fucking, we got away with it, and I just remember us both being like, we have $20 each, dude, because we split the take, uh, that's obviously. When the, that's when the dollar menu still existed. Dude, and we were just like, all I, I bragged about it. We bragged about it for months, dude. Just like, yeah, dude, we found fucking, we found $20, dude. We each got 20 bucks. We found 40 bucks in an ATM, so... Kind of the most lucky guys who ever lived. No big deal. And, you buy? And to this day, What'd when I buy? see him, we talk about it. We're like, dude, remember when we found 40 bucks? What, what, that was the best What did you buy? Day. I don't remember. <laughs> Doesn't matter, dude. It was it was about having forty dollars. It wasn't about what we spent it on. We probably bought I know what I think I know what I bought. I think I bought some food. I think I bought cereal and then hero clicks. Which is a game with little tiny superhero guys. <laughs> you make a move around a map and fight. Has Hero Clicks been around that long? Yeah. No. Yeah, Hero Clicks has been around since like 2004 or some shit. I remember my dad telling me when he was growing up, he's like, if I ever found like a genie or like my biggest fantasy as like a small kid, a teen, mm-hmm. was like, if I could wish for anything, it'd be $100 and a ring. <laughs> when he told me that i'm like what he's like yeah that's in my kid brain that's like that's all i'll ever need for the rest of my life <laughs> what's the ring for just so he looks cool i guess i don't know he's <laughs> he was super into like fantasy books and stuff kind of much like you were yeah to escape his horrific childhood <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what you gotta do that's so funny and a ring what would you what did you want when you were a kid i think i read some uh book that was it was some math book where it's like all you need is a million dollars in the bank and you could live off inflation for the rest of your life. I remember people saying that when I was a kid. And a it all comes from this one book where it's like some math wizard is like, check this shit out, kids. And uh, I read it and I'm like, oh, that's that's what I need. A million dollars and I'm, I never have to work again. Little did I know, all I'd have to do is start a podcast and 
just work, uh, talk for an hour a week, an hour or two a week, and I'll never have to work ever again. So much better than having a million dollars. No, it's not. <laughs> You're right. It's terrible. I'd it's love, really hard. I'd love to be a mute a millionaire. <laughs> or it's not hard, but it's like it's it can be a lot sometimes. No, it's not hard. It's just no, no. Doing not nothing even a is preferable to doing a little bit of work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think of there's all the, pressure. No, there's no pressure. It's just I wish for I was, you. I wish I was playing, for me. I wish I was playing Dead Space right now. Again, I want to beat it again. Oh, I want to sleep, but I shouldn't. Fuck. Go to sleep. Did you beat Dead Space? Yeah, I beat it. What's your review? Pretty good. Pretty good. It was really good. It was fun. If if he says it's pretty good, then it's like game of the year shit, dude. It's, no, it's the same game. It's Dead Space. Did you play the first Dead Space? Yeah. It was really good. Yeah, okay, awesome. Did you play Dead Space 2? No. It was 10 out of 10. Oh, was it really? Yeah. Dead Space 2 was good? Dead Space 2 is one of the best games I've ever played. Dead really? Sp- the Dead Space remake, they did it. They nailed it. Resident Evil 4 remake, they did they nailed it. I'm so stoked for Breath of the Wild, the next one, the Zelda 2. I hope it's I bad. love video games. I wish I didn't have to podcast and I could play video games. <laughs> Are you going to play Breath of the Wild again? No, I already for beat For a third I, time? I beat it twice. Now I'm going to wait for the next one. So yes, there are. I wish I was a millionaire who was playing video games instead of podcasting. But I do. I am thankful for my simple job. When I was a kid, I just wanted without you, without listeners like you. Also, you could listen to this podcast and play video games at the same time. I can't do that. I can't podcast and play video games at the same time. I try to sometimes, and he gets all fucking mad about it. You, everyone tries to. I think we all have that hubris for like. I, I can do it. I can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You fly I can, close to I, can, I can focus. A high, I can give like, I'll give like, I'm a, give like 80% of the podcast and 20% of the game. It ends up 95% of the game takes, the game is so much more engaging than talking because I'm talking on autopilot. Right yeah, it's, it's, I'm not even thinking about what I'm saying. I'm just talking. Um, but in the game, I'm like, I have to focus. I have to win. I have to beat the guy. I'm imagining playing Mario, and even just imagining it is making it hard to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Mario's so much better than this. Why are you guys watching us play Mario? No, you're right. You could do no, both. You can passively listen. It's you true. can't. You can't passively talk at the level we do. Just like I passively listen to my American Civil War battle reports. Oh man, the Battle of Antietam was rough. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go somewhere with that. Nope. Nope. Just a horrific yeah. battle where a lot of people lost their lives. Yeah. Now play a, play a video game and tell us about the battle. Okay. You couldn't do that. I could. You no, know, you're so right. I could. I was even trying to think of a video game that I would play. This is why we, we, I think we had uh, someone playing. I think it was Diego was playing Fortnite in the room with us. And we're like, no, nah, this is banned. You're even, not allowed. Yeah. Even, even him someone just playing p- fucked us Playing up. a video game is too engaging. Watching someone else play video games is too too stimulating you don't realize that it activates a part of your brain even when you just see it it's like it's i don't like know titties. yeah yeah it is like, like oh i need to i need to focus 100 percent on this dude when i was i don't kid, need to worry about my job right now when i was a kid your dad won a hundred dollars in a ring and you wanted a million dollars when i was a kid i wanted to have sex I remember but you did that as a kid. I did. And I was like, I was right. <laughs> I, I wanted to, and I still want to keep doing it. And so that's my aspirations have only ever been like, dude, I I hope someone's cool enough to fucking have sex with me. And it keeps happening. And I'm like, damn, this is crazy. Life is cool. So maybe that's like a part of my joyous demeanor. I never want considering how bad my life is. I just got everything I ever wanted. I never want to have sex again, and I'm dreading that I have to. (laughs) (laughs) You don't have to. I have. You got to. Now priests don't do it. Buddhist monks don't do it. Yeah, but nuns don't do it. I bet they do. I don't believe any of them. Yeah, they're up to something. Okay, that makes sense. I think they might be. I think there's a lot of people who are abstinent. I don't think there is. I think they're all lying. Yeah, it's kind of like how people were like, "I'm, I'm, um, I'm a part of gay pride because I'm asexual." What? Yeah, they're they think that they're the LGBTQ a that plus. is they, they like threw it asexual. in there. 
Yeah, that doesn't count. You don't get to be in there. I mean, no one is like, yeah, we got to. Oh, you don't want to have sex with me? Well, I'm going to cave your head in because it offends my Christian sensibilities. No one. ISIS wasn't like, oh, you you don't want to have sex with anyone? Come over here so I can throw you off a building. Dude, I'll die. I don't care how problematic it is. Hey, you know what? If you're asexual and you're trying to like do LGBTQ stuff for being like, I don't want to have sex. That's not a part of my life. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't care. No, no, I'm. Uh, I stand with the A's. Do you? I think. How come the? How come incels and A's don't form a group together? I fucking. I don't know, man. I can't wait. Well, because I guess A's, A's are, are vol cells. They're, no. They're, oh, no, they're you're on, right. They still fuck all the time, but they're asexual somehow. No. A, wait. Asexual still fuck? Yeah. That's what they say to me. I had a whole conversation about it. Remember we talked about it where people were like, oh, I'm asexual. I have sex, but it's not for pleasure. I just have sex because my partner wants to. It sounds like every and girlfriend like, I've ever had. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, sure. So you're, you're like afflicted with a problem. You're just uninterested in sex. That's not a fucking identity that you should have a flag for or care about. No, think in your head. Go, oh, I don't like sex very much, and a lot of people like sex. That's interesting. And just keep moving on with your fucking life. Here's your problem. You're projecting where you're you're mad because you're extra horny, and you're not being represented. Your demographic, you need a you need a horny guy. No one is you need more represented. No, you need the you are, need the age. Horny dudes are you incredibly the, represented. No, the need, fucking nation no, of I'm Italy saying, exists. The what? The nation of Italy exists. No, no, horny you, dudes are no, wildly no. represented. You need a special flag where it, the flag your motto is a whole is a whole. <laughs> you need a flag represented by Will <laughs> Chamberlain and Lemmy. Fucking pirates took the black spot, so we can't use that flag. Mm, so i think that's you're angry at asexuals because they've found their niche i'm not angry at asexuals yeah, you are because they found their niche yeah. i'm angry at asexuals because it's an identity it's a no it's one. not dude firstly most that shit is being gay isn't even an identity but whoa, whoa anything can be an identity to a boring person that's yeah <laughs> i know so that anything I is an trust identity me, i'm very aware anyone who's like i'm this you're like I did, okay right. cool yeah, that shit sucks. You be more than one thing. That's like being things is cool. Just being one thing and making it your whole thing is fucking lame, dude. It sucks so bad when people do that. I know there's a lot of people listening that are like, hey, I, I'm kind of all about one thing, but like, no, that's fine. I don't know. I, You're I, cool. I like, I, like a, <laughs> I like a person who's one thing. They're like, that's it. That's my whole life. I, you could boil me down to one identity. I like it. They figured it out. No, I like it when I'm, it's it, their life is in the pursuit of perfecting that thing. I gotta be but the gayest man you, possible. But you, <laughs> I have to suck so many dicks. That's in see if so if you're uh, is it John Waters? Is that is no? It, is, he's the thin mustache gay guy, right? Yeah, but he's. But he's not the gayest man alive. No, but he's made a career. He is so gay that he's made it an art form. I don't think so. No, it's he's an art form. I read his book. He had sex during a fucking demolition derby. I don't think that's gay. In a car. I don't think that's gay. That was with a man. That, that part's gay. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that I don't think that's I think he uh, John Waters is John Waters. No one else he's he 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 doesn't identify as a thing. He identifies as him. I know. Which is what everyone should. Everyone's trying to get through life, figuring out all the things they want, and eventually becomes themselves. That's what I'm trying to say. I know. Is that John Waters perfected something to the point that he's like, I think, boom, I'm John Waters. I think he perfected a lot of, a, a couple of handful of things. Yeah, I think he did too. But anyway, I, that's what I'm saying. So like, if your whole identity is the pursuit of, of I think you're bummed out at asexuals rad. because you were like, hey, let's have sex. And they're like, I don't even want to. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> no, apparently asexuals would be like, I, I won't be really into it, but if we'll make you happy, I'll do it. Why not? And then you're like, oh, okay, so you're probably not going to come then. And they're like, no, I actually physically enjoy it. And you're like, all right, so what is the part where you're... I don't know. You're me. saying they're faking it. I. They're faking not coming. 
I think there's a lot of people who are faking a lot of things about their identities. I don't know. There are a lot of people faking what they do in the bedroom. That too. Like, yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> when they're really dirty bisexuals. Dude, I'm just so over. That's who I hate. That's who I... Oh, I yeah, don't care yeah, about yeah, asexuals, yeah. but if you're bisexual... Ooh, ooh. Gross. Why would you do that? That's who you are. A hole's I, a hole. I know it. But you're, you you got to take it even further. You're tri or quad sexual what about pansexual what does that make you feel oh uh, which one is that <laughs> i don't know is that man the, is that the i'm in- attracted to no that sapiosexual is uh, attracted to intelligence it's so funny that there was a point in my life where i was like oh i'm i'm like gonna be completely inclusive like i had like reservations about certain lifestyles or ideas oh, that's what you are pansexual romantically attracted to people regardless of their sex or gender yeah that's what bisexual but bisexual is also just like attracted to i guess th- this people I, are like whoa, whoa, whoa. oh you're not bi because bi only includes the binary and this it's definition like, is very funny who fucking cares dude in the you know like use it in a sentence yeah the bodybuilder identifies as pansexual hell yeah dude he does <laughs> he absolutely does oh okay what getting ripped dude we- anyway it, like i was like oh i'm gonna be inclusive like completely I'm gonna lead with empathy. I fucking I'm all on board. LGBTQ, like all of it. Pronouns. I fucking got you, dog. I'll I'll be respectful. I don't care. And the more I've like gone into just being like I'm gonna be as open as I can and just acceptable for how I are. The more I learn about shit, where I'm like, actually, no, fuck that. No, you're being fucking lame right now. Being just be cool, dude. I just don't care. That's my thing is I should I you I should get to my point where I don't care. Yeah, I had a bunch of fuck it in my system and then I I like then, I learned then, too many things and I got annoyed and the, there wasn't enough fuck it to override. You're right. I'm going to you know what? And I'm not a, I'm man enough to admit when Mac is right and I'm wrong. And I should just not care. I should just see people be like actually um uh fucking uh the riots the total right those were for asexual people also mm. and i'll go okay whatever man good for you i had a revelation recently where i grew as a person yeah last night uh because i've always been like i've always been curious or confused at how someone could be like not feel like themselves like uh, i was born this but i feel like i'm that that's that's a completely fo- that was a completely foreign thought to me. Like, oh, I'm okay. like I don't even know how, what that would feel like. How do how you would describe that experience? Until last night, I saw uh, a video of a Down syndrome guy drinking a beer, and I was like, I felt this longing that I'm like, whatever surgery I need to get, whatever I need to do in my life, I would be willing to do it to become a Down syndrome guy drinking a beer yeah. with his Down syndrome friend too. Oh, dude, they look and I was, so happy. And I was just like, that is what I think truly in my heart of hearts I am. That's like nothing is more pure. They're at a baseball. Were they at a baseball game? No, they were at a restaurant, but like at Same Applebee's. Thing, dude, dude, just to be that happy at Applebee's drinking but, a fucking brewski with the bros. But I'm saying now I get it. I'm like, oh, I think I see how someone could see someone else and be like, that's what I want for me. Do you see how one of the reasons that makes you happy is how truly good and full of wonder and and freedom and authenticity that man with down syndrome is and how you are the antithesis to all of that you're you are so closed off so closed-minded so furious that's how i was born uh no no you were (laughs) you molded yourself into this horrible mold myself this dude you're the cruel world molded me you're the anti down syndrome guy drinking a beer if he saw you it would have harsh his vibe no it wouldn't it would he would see you and he would go oh no i'm <laughs> that poor man unless a, i'm whoa, so whoa. glad i mean unless a drunk down syndrome guy was like that's who i want to be that guy why would he do that <laughs> why would he be like yeah i want to be know. that unhappy guy I'm, I'm happy when i have a beer in me yeah <laughs> some of these down syndrome guys on tiktok have been fucking they're fit kings now dude they're fit yeah that's what i'm saying so what is he gonna look at you and be like fuck that man my brain makes the happy chemical every day everyone loves to see me i make everyone happy i'm drunk i'm shredded 
Look at you, and look at us. I'm throwing you under the bus, but also me. You know, are we gonna start seeing some some cool pickup artists? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the what's the next trend? If they're if they're bodybuilding right now, I think pickup artist is next. Damn, dude, I fucking Down love, syndrome pickup artists. I love developmentally disabled guys. They're so they just make they're me pure. They're fucking pure and they're cool and they're just dudes. And I fucking miss my guys. I'm gonna call my guys after this, see what they're doing. All right. It'll be good. Hey, that was the podcast. Was it? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I should. Uh, it would be so funny. One of these days, I'm going to like record one of my calls with the guys and ask him if it's cool to if he wants to say hi to everyone on the podcast. And he'll probably say some just wild shit that makes no. He'll literally say his address and for women to <laughs> come say hi to him or something. I'll be like, fuck, man, don't do that. Why not? I don't know. Should I? I mean, I'm not gonna dox my dude. No, no, but could we set up if one of our fans wants to have sex with, <laughs> or like, just like be give a hand job, like a oh a nice... my god, one of them already had sex with a prostitute, and got a disease. Yeah, but that's because a prostitute, not not one of our, or maybe not a prostitute. I don't know. He had sex with someone and he got chlamydia. Just I'm saying, where uh, Down syndrome pickup artist is on the horizon. And if you want to get ahead on that trend, <laughs> Down syndrome pickup artist, it's so funny. it's right there. It's true. It's so true, man. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I I nothing makes me anyway. Podcast over. Hey, do you want to support? Do you want to hear more stories? Do you want to hear what I bleeped out at the beginning of the no. episode? Um, no we're gonna reveal that on the patreon <laughs> if you remember to ask yeah um and then uh we have a patreon five dollars a month you get an extra episode every week who knows what well this if this is what we're giving away for free imagine what we make you pay for it's crazy we'll say anything I don't ah know. i don't say anything also you you can like mess you can uh message us on patreon and we'll a- a- answer your questions or talk to you and also if you give us five dollars a month you support us which is wildly important and uh yeah. it makes if, our dreams come true if our patreon goes if because we we started the podcast doing free episodes and then we added the patreon mm-hmm. but if the patreon dips the free episodes are done the free oh, episodes will go. Yeah. The free episodes will end well before the Patreon does. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know how they have like Patreon like tiers. Yeah, we should have Patreon threat tiers. If we go, if we lose this amount of money, <laughs> ooh, you're gonna, ooh, you're not gonna like it. <laughs> I'm gonna Just threatening our audience. <laughs> hey, if we fall, if <laughs> that's really funny, I will find you. I will shake you down in public uh, where's my money so funny all right let's i'm gonna go go to sleep go i'm to not sleep. gonna sleep i gotta stay up go take a nap i got like if i just stay up for seven more hours i can go to bed at 8 30 and have my sleep hygiene good there's you should work on some other your hygiene too okay stinky. <laughs> no i don't stink i'm i smell great all right everyone love you bye yeehaw, yeehaw.